Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to explain that the how the general is completely superior to the great knight. Now, I may have ruffled a few feathers there, but I've tried both. I played with both extensively, and I can, with 100% confidence, say the general is vastly superior to the great knight. All right, so let's just uh, go over which, uh, you know, what both are first. So the general has four move. It's a heavily armored unit with high defense, low resistance, and they can't be broken. And the great knight is a six move unit with high defense. Um, and it can actually use multiple weapons, I think. Like my great knight here, Jade, has B swords and A axes, while the general just can only use one weapon, I think. So. Here's, here's my main reason why the, the General is vastly superior to the Great Knight. And it's one simple reason. The, the General cannot be broken. You don't know how useful that is, especially on enemy phase, when a uh, the enemy sends a squad of multiple weapon types towards you. And it, it just doesn't matter. Like, the, the General, while both the General and the Great Knight can tank the damage and you know, at high enough levels, you won't take any damage. The issue is that the Great Knight gets broken, while the General does not. And when the Great Knight gets broken, they can't counterattack on enemy phase, while the General can keep dishing out those attacks on enemy phase, right? And, you know, getting that damage on enemy phase is incredibly important for Maddening. Um, you know, if you're just going to spend your enemy phase being broken, then what's, what's the point of putting your Great Knight on the front line? Right? I mean, there, there are ways to get around it, like you could possibly do a Chi Guard on your Great Knight or a Bonded Shield. Well, even Bonded Shield is not that good because you're going to get doubled. Um, so you're always going to be taking that second attack. And yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I just the Great Knight is just inferior. It's like the, the reason the Great Knight is inferior is because it, it tries to spread itself too thin. And... What I've found is with units who try to spread themselves too thin, they become the master of none, essentially. And they can't, they just can't do any job particularly good, right? And uh, one of my commenters brought up a interesting point with Rosado. Like Rosado has, um, he was having trouble with Rosado. So he had to pump all his energy drops into him. And I kind of agree, Rosado is actually kind of not so hot because the issue with Rosado is his bases, like especially his strength, is particularly low. And while his growth and strength is extremely high, he, he takes a lot of babying to to bring up to snuff. And even even myself, I've been struggling a little with Rosado uh, in, in trying to grow him, actually. So anyways, going back to the topic here with uh, the Great Knight and the the General. So yeah, you know, the, the Great Knight, I mean, some people would argue, okay, well, you have six move, but the thing is move is not that important all the time okay so if you are engaging with the enemy and both your front line and their front line have clashed and you guys are, are you know stuck locked blades against each other then move does not really matter that much you don't need to like move six move you know all, all, all you really need is five move like if you're trying to flank most you need is five move if you position your units properly Maybe even four move in some cases. Like you're not utilizing all six move. Cantor, you. I mean, everyone can learn Cantor, so Cantor is not a factor here. Um, so yeah, like when you're in the heat of battle, like six move is not really helping you. Six move is only good for advancing onto units, like to advance onto units that are footlock. You know, units that have enemy units that have five move, or four move. So that six move is not helping you. So you're basically foregoing your six move i mean you're, you're getting the six move but you're you're taking you're getting the ability to be broken which is shitty and then you have all these different weapon types which don't help you against the weapon triangle and the enemy can still break you essentially so yeah especially when the enemy sends squads with multiple units with we multiple weapon types towards you it, it just doesn't help right so that's what the general is vastly superior. And again, the resistance is, is a non-factor because both the Great Knight and the general have shitty resistance. So it's not really going to help you at all. Uh, that, that, that's kind of a wash between those two units. 
and then so and then the last point is the movement like even the gen even though the general has four movement now granted you can give your general the boots or something you can even give your general the advanced skill from roy that's one way to help you know advance literally advance on the unit and get that extra move so you can you know attack an enemy which is essentially like doing the thing that the great knight is supposed to specialize in which <laughs> you know kind of it's another hit on the great knight so you know uh the the move like i said the move is not relevant because the four move once you're in the heat of battle you're not you don't want your general to move you want your general to stay sitting there with his ass plopped on the ground throwing tomahawks that's what you want your general to do your general doesn't give a shit about move so yeah the, the general is just so good at what the general was designed to do which is just take hits not be broken and deal out enemy enemy phase damage with your tomahawks or whatever whatever weapon you want to you want to throw on your general well the great knight is only really good on player phase i would say you know just advancing but you know a large for the advanced players a large majority of your damage is coming from enemy phase right and if your great knight can't it's just it's just totally inferior on enemy phase compared to the general so yeah uh in conclusion the general is way better than great knight don't go great knight I think go great, great night if you want, do whatever you want to do. Seriously, like I, I'm just trying everything out, right? So I mean, great night is not total ass, but like anybody that says great, I'll take a great night over general, they must be on crazy pills or something because the general, the general is where it's at. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks for watching.